Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to take at something that I occasionally come across on certain manufacturers' laptops uh, when I'm trying to update the Intel graphics drivers, and that is um, basically some insist that you use the manufacturer's drivers. So here we're on the Intel website, we're going to support downloads, and we're just going to download the latest graphics drivers for the Intel platform. We're going to get the latest non-beta. We are going to download, here we have the option of executable versions, we're actually instead going to download the 64-bit version zip, 64-bit uh, because that's the operating system we're on. We're going to opt to save that. And what we're going to do, first of all, we'll try just running the installer, and then we'll work, and we'll see the error message it gives, and then we'll look at how we can actually install that driver onto our system. I'm just going to cut through to the download having completed now. <coughs> so with that download complete, what we're going to do is say open folder, and just extract the contents of the file. Uh, the reason we've downloaded the zip is it gives us easy access to all the files in the driver pack, whereas the executable puts it in a temp folder, deletes things after you've run it, uh, so the zip just makes things a little more convenient. And with that done, it will now show us the folder. When we run setup, however, we allow it to run the installer, and it says driver being installed is not validated for this computer. Um, so basically what it's saying is, although the driver is actually correct, it is not the one that is approved by, in this case, Acer. So what we are going to do is we are going to go into the graphics folder and select here and copy that line. We're now going to go right click in the bottom corner here and go to device manager. Now if we find our graphics adapter, we are going to say driver, update driver, browse my computer for driver software, let me pick, have disk, paste into here that path that we've just copied. Now having done that, it then shows the Intel HD graphics family, uh, and that is marked as the compatible hardware. We do get a full list if we so we could select things manually, but we want to show the compatible one. So say next, and it will go through from here and install the driver software. Uh, you may see a flicker of the screen when you do this on yours, like so. Uh, I'm running this through a capture card, so it shows no input for a moment. And there we can see it says, Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Now, we can also go back to the setup application and this now will run the setup application as normal. So we actually have now, if we look in here, the latest 4463 drivers installed, but for future driver updates, we can also just go through and use the installer for doing that. I hope this video has been useful. Um, let us know what else you'd like to see uh, in terms of these guides in future, uh, and subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. Thanks for watching.